Oh, hiya, Satan. I'm glad to be here. Take him to be tortured. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't want to torture me. The hell I don't. Send him away. Oh, sounds like you don't want to beat God and his angels in the final war to come. Oh, but I do, and when the time comes, you'll be there with the rest of my mighty army. The fuck I will? Who in the hell is going to fight for an asshole like you? <laughs> After a few centuries of torture, you'll be on my side. Have you even listened to what you sound like? I'm going to fall in love with you after you torture me for years? You're insane. Well, if you're going to torture me anyway, I might as well tell you I'm going to work for the other side when the time comes. And I'm sure a lot of folks in here are thinking the same thing. Have you surveyed the morale around here? Well, you'd better back up or I'm only going to make it worse on you. Wow. That's what we call doubling down. You have one trick up your sleeve and then up the other sleeve. You just have more of the same trick. Do you still make deals even? I heard the devil was good at making deals. Not with weasley little mofos like you. Oh, I get it. You make deals with the cream of the crop, right? That's who's here. Do what I say and I'll punish you. Don't do what I say and I'll punish you. That's my impersonation. It's like looking in a mirror, right? This is what you sound like, and this is what you look like. Don't you think it sounds stupid? Well, let me try another strategy. Oh, Lord, mighty Satan, you, you are very pretty and fun to be around. Oh, that I were good enough or bad enough to deserve being around you, uh, to let you let me clean your feet and lick your shoes and... That kind of thing, I worship thee, I worship thee, I worship thee. But I have some pointers for you, if you're willing to hear them out. I'm listening. Well, let's start with the idea that God's the bad guy, not you. Well, now you're just trying to butter me up. Hear me out, hear me out. Who was it that made you? What? Oh, I think I see where you're going. God made you, he knew what he was doing. He knew he was going to give you this bullshit job. He knowingly built the world such that it would be as sucky as it is and such that people would go to this horrible shit hole that you live and work in. It's basically God's plan that you're such a dipshit, whom I happen to adore and worship and lick your boots in a merely metaphorical way. I'm trying to say your suffering is not your fault, and nothing worse could happen if you just stop complying with the divine plan. You don't have to torture people because you've been told to. You can earn your respect, and then you'll have a chance at a mighty army. Now all you have is a bunch of disgruntled slackers. But I do actually enjoy torturing people. Do you also like losing Armageddon Wars? No, of course I want to win the Armageddon Wars. You're like a dad. So why don't you do something different? Something different might work. Doing the same thing has kept you here. All I'm asking you to do is think strategically about how to motivate your troops. Can we talk more about this? Well, this is all new to me. You are speaking my language, but I need time. It's just so different. I'm overwhelmed, frankly. You understand, it's, it's just so new. Hey, listen, I understand. I fully expected to be sent into the lake of fire right away. I only hope that you'll think about it. Take him away, guys. Oh, and Weasel, I'll call you. That's a promise. Great. For now, just remember these three words. War on Christmas. <laughs>